Are you looking for a safe savings account to park your cash to earn some decent interest? It's tough these days with interest rates being so low. If you look at a big five bank such as TD, their high interest savings account only gives you 0.05% per year. You might as well keep your money under your mattress at those rates. Luckily, there's been a rise of online banks in Canada that can offer you much higher rates. Watch this video for my picks of the top four high interest savings accounts in Canada. And I'll show you how you could earn up to 25 times more interest than a big bank in Canada. Hey, what's going on? It's Chris here from Wealth Awesome. High interest savings accounts are a great place to stash your money if you need to make a purchase in the short term. You can earn interest that will roughly keep pace with inflation and maintain full control of when you can withdraw it. On the other hand, Canadians parking their capital in traditional savings accounts usually at a big five bank, have not been able to enjoy significant returns on their money for most of the last decade. If you Google any big bank name in Canada, take your pick like TD, RBC, BMO, and check out their savings accounts, you'll be very unimpressed with what they offer. TD offers 0.05% and EQ Bank that I'm going to show you earns 25 times that amount. I need to hold a lot of cash inside a high interest savings account because I'm self-employed so I need to pay my taxes every year. Because it's so important for me, I spent a lot of time looking over all the different online banks in Canada for the best high interest savings account. I'll share what I found with you here. Make sure you stick around until the end of the video because I'll go over my strategy of how I use high interest savings accounts along with my investments. If you get lost or you want to learn more, you can check out the written article about this video on my website, wealthawesome.com. I go into the top seven accounts instead of the top four. Check it out. I have put a link in the description if you're interested. Before going any further, I just want to go over my top pick of what I think is the best high interest savings account in Canada, and that's EQ Bank. You can get a 1.25% interest rate in its everyday savings account or 2.3% in its TFSA or RSP account. That rate though is only available until May 26th when it will drop down to 1.25%. I recently did a full video review of EQ Bank that you can find in my previous videos. If you wanna sign up for EQ Bank, I've included a link in the description below. There's a few things you should consider before you choose a financial institution you work with. Take a closer look at the fine print so you can find out details like whether they charge fees on transfers or withdrawals. Is the rate promotional or introductory or is it permanent? Is it the regular rate they offer for the high interest savings account? You also should look at whether they have any restrictions on the number of monthly transactions and lockup periods. Are accounts like the RSP and TFSA available for high interest savings? So let's dive into why I chose EQ Bank. As I said, the interest rate is 1.25% for the high interest savings account and the TFSA rate is 2.3% which will drop down to 1.25% in May. And the fees are free. Here are some other awesome features. I'm not gonna say them all out, but some that I'd like to point out are free transactions, free electronic transfers, and you can just check out the rest in the list here. So what is EQ Bank? EQ Bank is a banking arm of the Equitable Bank that operates in an online only environment. Equitable Bank is the ninth largest Schedule One bank in Canada. EQ Bank, started in 2016. In four years, EQ Bank has grown to more than 60,000 clients with over $3 billion in deposits. Its interest is calculated daily and paid out to customers monthly. I consider it among the best online only banks. It charges no monthly banking fees. It offers high non-promotional rates. The maximum balance you can hold in your account is $200,000. I hold any money I need for the short term, for example, for taxes or for something like a trip inside an EQ bank high interest savings account. The one downside though, it's not available for Quebec residents. The second best high interest savings account in Canada is Motive Financial with their Motive Savvy savings account. The interest rate is also 1.25% and the TFSA interest rate is also 1.25%. Fees is also free and it also has these awesome features as well. So you get free deposits, zero monthly fees and zero minimum balance. Motive Financial is an online only banking division of the Canadian Western Bank. 
It serves its customers through its website and mobile app, and it offers a very good high interest savings account with a tiered interest rate on the account. The app for this online bank though is slow and it takes a very long time for some people to get approved and it offers only two free withdrawals each month. After that, it can cost $5 per transaction. Another downside is it's not available to citizens of Quebec. My third choice, for best high interest savings account is Tangerine with their Tangerine savings account. Now their interest rate is only 0.1% and its fees are free, but it does have some awesome features, which I want to go over here. It's got no lock-in period, zero monthly fees, zero minimum balance, offers TFSA, automatic savings plan, and it's a subsidiary of the Bank of Nova Scotia since 2012. It's become one of the best online banks in the country. Formerly known as ING Direct, Tangerine charges no fees for its high quality products and it offers competitive interest rates. Now, while the interest rate is very low, that's not what I use it for. It's not the best interest rate out there, but the bank also offers other savings plans like TFSA, RRSPs, and it provides GICs with higher rates. And personally, because I hate going into a bank branch, Tangerine satisfies all my bank solutions online that EQ Bank does not offer. So things like a checking account, you could even invest in it. So there's also a fantastic credit card that they offer. It has the biggest online network of any of the banks as it is owned by Scotia Bank, which is why I have it on the list here, even though it doesn't have the highest rate. My fourth pick is Wellsimple with Wellsimple Cash. The interest rate on a savings account is 0.75%. It's free as well. And it has these features, zero monthly fees, zero minimum balance, unlimited free transactions, and maybe it will have no foreign exchange transaction fees in the future. Wellsimple is a well-known company in Canada that started off as a robo-advisor that helps its customers manage their investment portfolios. And it's one of the most significant online wealth managers that was founded in 2014. It has over $5 billion in assets under management with more than 175,000 clients. And again, although it's not the highest interest rate, I added this to the list because I strongly believe in Wellsimple as a company. The company offers a high interest savings account called Wellsimple Cash, and it offers a decent interest rate, not the best one. Wellsimple Cash is an excellent financial account that also reimburses any ATM withdrawal fees. Considering the transfer, withdrawal, and payment capabilities it offers, Wellsimple Cash is a hybrid, in my opinion, between a savings and a checking account. I included this one for its potential and its product lineup. They even have Wellsimple Trade, which is the only company that offers completely commission-free trading in Canada. So I included a bonus one. I just went over the four that I think are the best, but here's a bonus one. And I included this one for the Quebec residents, which is Modus Bank. They have a 1% high interest savings account and a 1.1% TFSA account. Quebec is huge. They have over 8 million people inside the province, so they need solutions as well. All the other ones on the list, besides Wealth Simple Cash, did not offer options for them. So some of the pros or benefits of using high interest savings accounts over big five banking, there are a lot of advantages. First one is much higher interest rates. A high interest savings account offers you way better returns on your savings as opposed to traditional savings accounts. Number two is it protects against inflation. In a regular bank account, you're actually losing the real value of your money due to inflation. At least with a high interest savings account, you can somewhat keep pace with inflation. Flexibility. High interest savings accounts offer you more flexibility in comparison to other financial vehicles. For instance, if you invest in a guaranteed investment certificate or GIC, your funds are locked in for six months to maybe five years or longer. Most high interest savings accounts, on the other hand, allow you to make withdrawals from your account without penalties if you need money. It makes high interest savings account a better option in my opinion for holding emergency funds. Another benefit is safety and guarantee. The money you store in your HISA is generally safe. If the financial institution is a member of CDIC, it can insure amounts of up to $100,000 per client if the bank goes bankrupt for any reason. Deposits at credit unions have provincial insurance and can typically cover the entire deposit of the clients, even those who have balances over $100,000. Bonuses. Some banks that offer you HISAs also provide you with attractive bonuses and promotional rates for signing up and offers that last for a limited period. Of course, not every type of investment is 
perfect. So I'll go over some of the downsides of using Hisas. The first one is that it does have more interest, but there are high tax rates for interest. Number two is the withdrawal restrictions or limits. Hisas can also differ from regular savings accounts in terms of how many withdrawals you can make from them. Banks earn income by letting borrowers lend money from them. Banks lend deposits from their customers to their borrowers and they can turn a profit from the interest they charge lenders. The longer your deposits sit in the bank, the more profit banks can earn from them. All right, so how do I use high interest savings accounts? Basically, I went through this briefly before, but anything short term, so within one or two years that I know that I'm going to need the money for, I will put all that money inside my high interest savings account. This way it could keep pace with inflation, earn me a decent interest rate and have that cash available in case I need it and there when I actually do really need it. Everything else I invest in stocks or ETFs mostly. Uh, I have some real estate. So that's kind of how I balance out all my investments with this savings account. Another thing I wanna note is despite me talking about TFSAs, I don't actually hold any high interest savings in my TFSA account. Instead, I have it just in a regular taxable account. This is because I believe a TFSA should actually be used for investing and not saving. It's an important mental distinction for me, so I like to keep that separate. Like TFSAs just for my stocks and ETFs and my normal account just for my high interest savings. But if you haven't maxed out your TFSA, then by all means invest in it with a high interest savings account. That's perfectly fine. So as you can see, high interest savings account can help you earn significant interest through your funds without losing pace with inflation. After all my research, my top pick is EQ Bank, which gets the crown for the best high interest savings account in Canada. Each of the high interest savings account products can vary drastically in terms of rates and additional features. So make sure you do your research before making your final decision. Again, if you don't wanna do that research, Go with EQ Bank, as I mentioned many times in this video. I put a link in the description. You can sign up from them using that link. And since you made it this far, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on future tips and lists like these. Also be sure to check out the blog, wealthawesome.com. I go into a lot more Canadian banking, investments, and how to make money on this blog. And it's one of Canada's fastest growing blogs. And it's been a lot of fun for me to write content for it. So. Check it out, and as always, thanks for listening.